Thutmose III ruled from 1479 to 1425 BC. The military campaigns of Thutmose III, which derived from the annals of Thutmose III. In the seventh campaign of Thutmose III, he crossed the wilderness of Shur. The rebellious foreign lands were falling into attacking his boundary. He halted at Nuiba and offered sacrifice to the god Amun. The Nuiba crossing is 15.5 kilometers. This was the popular crossing point of the Gulf of Aqaba for the Egyptian armies. From there he advanced to Abad and to Korare. Then to the tent cities of Seir. Finally arriving at Gaza. The most Egyptian army took home 22,500 sheep, 2,041 mares, 1929 cattle, 924 chariots, 502 bows, 340 prisoners, 200 suits of armor, 191 foals, and six stallions. Amenhotep III ruled from 1388 to 1351 BC. From the Rassen Cylinder in the British Museum dealing with his ninth campaign, Amenhotep III proceeded through the desert of Shurs, the desert near the wall. Two bulls were sacrificed to the god to divide the seas for the son of Amun. The depth profile of the crossing, as described by Glenn Fritz in his book The Lost Sea of the Exodus, the slope percentages indicate the elevation divided by the horizontal distance. Dr. Fritz believes that chariots would have no problem with the slope. The numbers in meters is the distance from the surface of the sea level. Amenhotep III took the towns of Midian as far as Tabuk, then turned back to Seir. The Solab inscription, dated to circa 1385 BC, commemorating Amenhotep III victory over the Shasu of Seir, the land of the Shashu of Tirabaru, the land of the Shashu of Yahweh, the land of the Shashu of Samata. There was a wadi by the name of Hamata between Petra and Timna. A scarab of Amenhotep III has been found in the Wadi Musa near Petra. He seized all the land of the Shashu of Laban. The town of Amman, the future capital of Jordan, was plundered. Ramses II ruled circa 1279 to 1213 BC. In the seventh year of his reign, he set out through the Sinai and Najib with his sons and pursued the Shashu as far as the sea. Ramses II halted at the shore of the sea and made sacrifices to the god Amun. In the morning, Amun parted the sea and the Egyptians crossed through on dry land to the far side. Ramses II plundered many towns. Midian has seen every sort of woe. Tabuk has been made low. An altar of Hathor was built at Timnah. Egyptian administrators ran the copper mines using local labor. He then turned his attention to the Shasu and their home in Edom Seir. His son Amnu Her Kepshef captured Moab as Ramses went toward the sea. Ramses III ruled from 1186 to 1155 BC. His route passed from Pi Ramses and the port of Quizum to the city of Suez, where archaeologists have found a temple dedicated to the Egyptian king. An inscription with the name of Pharaoh Ramses III, like the one found at Tema, was found near the port of Abu Zenaim. Then he rested at Surabet el Kadim before heading to the sea. Four young bulls were sacrificed at Nuiba. The third night, the seas were parted, and the Egyptians were able to cross on dry land. He strove across the lands of Kurare 
which is where the pottery of that style was made. An inscription bearing the name of Ramses III was found at Tema, Arabia. The Great Harris Papyrus, Ramses III. I destroyed the people of Seir among the Shasu tribes. I raised their tents, their people, their property, and their cattle as well. I gave them to Enad of the gods as slaves for their houses, and carried them away in captivity as tribute of Egypt. A chariot wheel found at Nueva. The standard chariot wheel had six spokes, but some may have had four. Examples of the wheels found throughout the Gulf of Aqaba. <laughs>